Next news is about the Christchurch shootings and the aftermath of it from New Zealand. A 22-year-old who converted to Islam after the mosque attacks. Megan Lovelady is a 22-year-old cafe worker who converted to Islam at the Christchurch Mosque, where 43 people were shot and killed. She now wears a full-face veil, uh, has started calling herself by an Arabic name, and prays five times a day with her Muslim brothers and sisters. She said, when I heard the priest read the Quran, it was truly amazing. She continued adventuring to find out about Islam until she decided to convert. So uh, the reason why this this is a, a story, even at all, is because um, a lot of the attention around the Christchurch shootings has actually led at least three people to convert to Islam. Um, and Megan Lovelady is just one of them. So the more and more and more this is getting spoken about, the more attention um, is getting laid on it, the more people want to find out more about Islam and what about it caused, you know, this this person to go in there and shoot up mosques. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, and then as they do, they're starting to convert to Islam. Yeah, I mean, this is why um, even if you're a moral, morally a monster that doesn't see the reason why attacking Muslims doesn't make any sense, it doesn't even make strategic sense if you're trying to fight Islam. The more you attack an ideology, the more you're actually advertising it as well. The more, vic the more you put victimize a people, group of people, uh, the, str the stronger it will become and the faster it will grow. Uh, this is why the people that want to punch Nazis in this, when, you know, in the street also don't understand that this they they are also responsible for the growth of you know alt right groups, just because you know if it doesn't doesn't work people like what you know I understand I don't understand, but I mean the a lot of people are going to criticize her for converting to Islam. I mean people are convert to Islam and out of Islam every 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 week probably every day probably yeah. you know? so I mean. It's just that this is not really that significant. What is significant is and disturbing is a lot of Muslims, when they see people converting to Islam, they 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 think this Christchurch shooting was worth it. You know what I mean? Because they see like, look, this is our enemies are attack trying to attack us, but it only makes us grow faster. So in their mind, it, it's okay that we Muslims die because more people will convert to Islam. It backfires. Like they see that this is like, you know, this makes it all okay. That more, like when they saw so many people in New Zealand, women in New Zealand put the hijab on, when they saw, you know, did the Azan call to prayer, when they saw all of that, they were so happy. They think like, yeah, our enemies will hit us, and we, and the re what comes as a result of that makes all of those attacks on us worth it. So the fact that so many, I in the in, when I look at Muslims commenting in their own communities, they are so happy about this reaction, makes me feel like they don't they don't even understand the hum the human cost to this strategy, because there's exactly. a lot of them just like a lot of us as we saw that they just being tribal, they are just care about their idea of winning, you know, and if that comes at the cost of their people, it's fine, which is, I mean, again, this is not all Muslims, but enough of them to be extremely disturbing to see. And let me see what the top comment is. Um... I don't know how to pronounce this name. Please revert back to Christianity after Sri Lanka church bombing. I mean, people are going to point out how ridiculous this is to convert to Islam. But, I mean, it's ob obviously, like, that's not a really, you know, not a very... I mean, we're all atheists. We know Islam is ridiculous. Chicken joining KFC religion. That's what they're saying. Yeah, Islam is anti-woman. We know. And woman... I mean... Here's the thing. A lot of people point out that it's, it's strange for women to be religious, given that religions are anti-women. Or it's strange to be gay and religious, given that these religions are so anti-gay. But I would say, like, well, you can say that about anybody because religion is anti-human. So it's weird to be anything 
and religion, anybody and religious at the same time. You don't have to be a woman to be like, well, how could women be religious? Religion are so anti-woman. Well, yeah, they are, but they're also anti-humanity. <laughs> so um, nobody should be religious. Um, William is saying, imagine living and being an, a native, native to New Zealand and dressing like a, like, uh, I think this is not proper. Le dressing like and oh and adapting the belief system of an ancient uh, semitic mesopotamia culture religion sounds silly doesn't it well i mean technically you could say that about people anywhere in the world because i don't understand what the point is here and okay i'm gonna let me just read one more comment nathan is saying is she gonna convert to christianity when church uh, when a church gets a uh, shut up why not just leave religion because that's why all these crazy ass people exist in the first place anyways enjoy being chattel um i don't i mean to be uh, to be fair to the story i don't think she just converted to islam simply because there were there was a shooting i think what she's trying to say is that after the shooting she looked into islam and then she liked it and she converted right that's her story it's not like she just she was like okay you shoot Muslim so I'm gonna become Muslim I think it wasn't right right yeah okay Jack is saying that this reeks of look how progressive and accepting I am of religion I know nothing about I get to be a victim now too where's the media look at me well I don't know Jack we don't really know her I mean I don't I haven't looked into her story specifically so maybe you're right but um, I mean people convert to Islam every day so that's this is what, what my main concern is is the reaction to all of this um it, it, another person is saying here hans is saying she did become famous think about it that way easy fame well we don't know we don't know uh, we can't really read people's minds guys we the fact that islam is nonsense as anybody converting to islam it's ridiculous no matter what your background is that's all, that's all we need to know. We know that for sure. And we don't really need to guess anything more about people that we have never met. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.